what's up Towner? Um, I remember the last time we barbecued I got a request on how to use the chimney starter and the one I have here inside is a metal canister to catch the charcoal and at the bottom is where you basically stuff it with newspaper or cardboard or whatever uh, here I don't have any newspaper so you know when you put charcoal in you you, you got excess bags so I just have some of the bag here and just ripping it up into strips or pieces and it's like a th the bags are like three layers most of the bags this kings for bag is, is three layers of uh paper so i just rip them apart and rip it up into pieces and ball it up in whatever shape and just stuff it in here to the bottom and stuff it around the bottom take a ring you can fill it up as much as you want Sometimes I also put some in the top part here. That was some cardboard from a some beer, a case of beer. Stuff that in because that was sometimes when it sometimes it goes out a bit the uh, flame and you have to maybe add more paper. So this way, as it catches, it'll catch up in here and that'll go in between all of the charcoal. And here, just load it up with charcoal. position this around so the charcoal will go around the paper I put in there. Basically load it up. And then uh, at the bottom, light the paper. And that's basically it. This will go and it'll burn through the paper at the bottom. The holes will have a lot of air to come through and circulate. It's going to eventually come all the way up. You can see the flames here starting to cool. It's going to slowly come all the way up. And it's going to take about 10 minutes or so for the charcoal to fully light. You'll see the flames starting to come all the way up here through the top, all the way up through here, and you're good to go. Um, Sometimes it, the fire may start to die out a bit. It may not be you may not have added enough paper, but if that happens, you can definitely just add more to the bottom part here and just let it go. So I'm going to let this burn. And sometimes you may have to fight the smoke depending on which way the wind is blowing. Like right now, it's coming straight towards the camera, but it may switch to another side, left or right. But um, I'm going to come back in about five or ten minutes and show you guys what the flame is looking like after that. Then at that time, you're ready to flip the coals and dump them into the bottom and use that to heat up your grill grates to clean off your grill. Super simple. You don't need any lighter fluid or anything. Some people can taste the taste of lighter fluid in the food. Some people can't, but some people just don't like using it at all. But this is definitely great if you just don't have any or don't feel like going to the store. This chimney starter works great as long as you have paper. I've used mail, <laughs> I've used newspaper, I've used cardboard, um, I've used all, I, I, I even use old dried leaves in the wintertime once, anything that'll burn, but uh, we'll be right back guys. Alright guys, after about 10 minutes or so, this is how yours should be looking. Uh, I don't know if you can see the flames coming out the top half, but it's pretty much ready to go. I mean, sometimes I let it go until the top part fully ashes over, but I'm not really worried about that. So we're, we're doing, we're, I'm barbecuing, but I'm not barbecuing that much. Just some hamburgers and hot dogs, so small, quick stuff. So I'm going to jump these coals in and uh, get the grill ready to start burning. Sometimes you'll get a, some ash at the bottom. That's just basically all the paper and everything that fell out from the bottom part.
one here. Basically just put the coals directly over the flames and let that burn off for about five minutes or so to clean the grill grates. And then we're ready to cook. As it heats up the coal, as, as, as it heats up the grates, anything burned on there or cooked on there will basically just fall off. I did a good job cleaning it last time before I finished cooking, but I always do it again when I start the next cook. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. burgers and hot dogs. Some quick, simple, easy. We're done in a few minutes. Feel good out here, but it's gonna get hot. It's supposed to be 90, 90 ish. A little more meat. I think I'm gonna add some more patties on here. Just cook them all up. But this is what we're looking like right now. All right, we are fully loaded. Put on a few more sausages and just made up the rest of these burgers. And uh, that's it.
Got a hot spot right here in the middle. Put these over here, take their place. Once I flip them, they're pretty much holding their shape, and from there I can pretty much use some tongs and move them around. What's up, man? All right. When you flip them and they got a lot of grease on them, you might get flare up like this. You can either just close the grill or you close the grill, the flames will die out, or just move the burgers or whatever out of the way from the flames and just let it die out on its own. After about 15, 20 seconds, it should die out just like this. You just keep cooking. Just don't let the when you're doing burgers like that, sometimes you gotta just let it not smoke the air. I'm sorry. You have to just stop the airflow and it'll uh, die out the flames. All the burgers are done. Getting some color on these hot dogs and sausages, and then we done. Here are our sausages. I just chopped them up the big ones and the small ones. Burgers, hot dogs. Got some chips for the kids, some tortilla chips pinwheel sandwiches, veggies, some buns. Here we have some cheese dip and some macaroni and cheese and some pulled chicken. Oh, and also in here, uh, just some uh, cupcakes, cookies, and uh, a little bit of adult, you know, the party turned to an adult party after. Uh, we'll give it a couple hours. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.